Welcome back to another video. Have you ever wondered how can you speed up your computer? Today, we use lots of applications from a bunch of different categories to do our work. Whether it is office work or just gaming, every application we install adds up to a slower computer. We often have installed applications and services we don't even use. Getting rid of all that will help us have a faster and more reliable computer for our everyday needs. Without further ado, hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's disable startup items that consume a lot of memory. If you check your taskbar icons you might see a bunch of programs running. I have a lot of apps installed at the moment and this computer is running slow, and one of the main reasons is that all these apps run at startup. Let's go ahead and disable them. To do that, right click on your taskbar and open task manager. Click on the Performance tab to check how much memory you have available. This PC has 8GB of RAM total and it's almost consumed. To disable any startup application just open the Startup Apps tab from the Task Manager. I will go ahead and disable all of them. Now I will reboot the PC to check the results. OK. The computer is back now. Let's open Task Manager again. The difference is huge. Now, half of the total memory is consumed. But that's not all. The second tip I can share with you, is to use the Disk Cleanup tool. This tool deletes all useless files from your disk. In some cases these files might occupy a lot of space. I will check all folders for the cleanup. Click OK and wait a bit for this to complete. Another thing to clean is the temp folder. Open Start menu and type percent, temp, percent. Now select all of them and just delete all the files from there. Number 4 on our list is the prefetch folder. Hit Windows key plus R, to open the run command window and type, prefetch. When you first open the prefetch folder, you might get a prompt telling you that you don't have access to it. You have to click continue to give yourself permission to view and edit the folder's contents. The prefetch files will be text files with a .pf extension, and they're encrypted so that only your Windows system can read the app data. Go ahead and delete all of them. Next, is the Storage Sense. Open Settings and go to System, Storage. Use this button to turn it on. Storage Sense is a silent process that runs in the background of both Windows 10 and 11. It frees up space by removing locally available files, that you aren't using anymore, or by removing old temporary cached files from your local drive. All without requiring users to manually delete. Moving on, the next thing on our list are the background apps. These are apps that run in the background without user interference. I will disable all the background apps on this PC. To do that, I need to go to Settings and then Apps. Highlight the app you want to disable from background and click these three dots up here. Then, select Advanced Options. Click on the Background App's Permissions drop-down and select Never. This will stop the app from running in the background. Follow this procedure for every app you want to disable from running in the background. But, what do you do if you want to disable all apps from the background at once? Well, there is a solution for this. Open Start Menu and type gpedit.msc. This will open the Group Policy Editor. In the Group Policy Editor, select Computer Configuration. Administrative Templates. Windows Components. And finally find the App Privacy folder. Click on that and select, Let Windows Apps Run in the Background from the Right. Then, click on Enable and set the option for default to Force Deny. Click Apply and close this window. Now, to apply the policy right away, I will use the command prompt. Open a command prompt window and type this command. Let's go back and check the apps now. Click on the three dots of any app and go to Advanced Options. The drop-down list is removed now, stopping all apps from running in the background. This setting is applied to new apps too. 
Your computer should be way more faster now but we still have some more tips to make it even faster. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's go on. Next one on our list is to uninstall any app that you don't use. Just open start menu and go to settings, and open the apps tab. From the three dots menu select uninstall. The app will be removed shortly. If you don't record videos from games or not using it at all, you should disable the Xbox game bar. Again, open settings and go to gaming tab. Click on the game bar, and just turn it off. Last one for today are the services. Open start menu and type the word services. These are services running in the background and therefore they consume memory. Check the video description for the list of services that you can disable. I'm not using maps on this computer so I will disable this service. Just right click on it and select disabled at the startup type. Follow this same procedure for any other service you don't want to run in the background. Now that we have done so much tweaking let's reboot the computer one last time and see the difference. Occupied RAM was at 7.5 GB before we started tweaking this system, and now it's reduced to 2.7 GB. That is a huge difference. You can also make a huge difference on this channel if you hit the subscribe button too. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.